It's not very often you get to see something hurtle through the atmosphere and land in your backyard. But these kids in Kaniba got a front row seat as a space capsule came back to Earth. It looks like a shooting star. It's really interesting to get to see stuff that not many people would get to see normally. And it's, yeah, really cool how it came and landed so close to where we live. That round thing behind Taylor is the Varda W2 capsule. Three, two, one. It took off from California in January on board a SpaceX Transporter 12 rocket, and it orbited Earth on its own for more than six weeks before landing at the Kanaba Test Range right here in South Australia. And now it's at the Australian Space Discovery Centre in Adelaide, where I got to have a close-up look. This capsule right here just flew back from space at eight kilometers per second. And this part was hotter than the surface of the sun. And as if surviving a trip to space and back isn't impressive enough, this capsule did an important job while it was there. You can't see it from the outside, but there's a little robot inside that's, that's performing the experiment. The experiment was to see whether there are benefits to making drugs in space. Basically, when you're in weightlessness, when you're floating around in space, can you produce something that has a different effect on the patient? Can you get a medicine that works better to the people here on Earth? While it might seem weird, gravity does have an effect on how chemistry works. And for a while, scientists up here have been experimenting with making and testing medicines. The team behind W2 are hoping that their orbiting robotic laboratories will be able to produce drugs that are cheaper, more effective, and have fewer side effects than the ones made on Earth. And now we have this you know, new switch, this new dial, where we can basically turn off gravity like a light switch. Uh, and evaluate how that affects um, those, those processes, what you know, new innovations we can deliver to, to treat people here on the ground. Um, so I think the, the future is sort of unbounded for us. The W-2 is actually the first commercial spacecraft ever to land in Australia. And the people in our growing space industry reckon it won't be the last. It's one thing to hear about all of this happening in different areas across the world. And it's something that we can do right here. We have the capability to do. They say our geography, with its wide and empty spaces, make Australia perfect for launching things into space and catching them when they come back down. And they're hoping missions like this will help to inspire the space scientists of the future. Kids can grow up here go to uni here and, and come and actually find something to contribute to the, the space industry. It gets you really curious about all the different stuff that you have to do and the jobs and yeah, it'd be pretty cool to do it.